One of the first things you'll realize when you jump into influencer partnerships is you got to get contact information for the people that you want to recruit, that you want to partner with, the creators that you actually want to publish for you. You got to find a way to get a hold of them. And the best way we've learned throughout the years working with hundreds of companies doing influencer outreach is email, baby. It works. Of course, you want to send emails, you're going to need some email addresses. So welcome to the show. I'm Avery, CEO at Modash, where we help hundreds of companies partner with hundreds of thousands of creators every year. And I'm going to tell you how to find emails for influencers. Before we jump in, this is not legal advice. Consider GDPR. Don't do anything bad, et cetera, et cetera. Best practices. There's lots of big, nice lists. Uh, cold emailing is totally okay, but you should do it in an ethical, responsible way and don't get yourself in any trouble. Uh, be respectful of those you contact. Don't send a million trillion follow-ups, just a few, and let them know where you get their email from. It's, uh, it's an important, important thing and let them opt out if they have to. The first and most straightforward way to do this is just go to the profile of the creator that you want to outreach to. Look for the little button that says contact me or e get email uh, in the bio. So on Instagram, it, it reads contact. Click that button you see right there on screen and you're good to go. You fetch the email. Oh, that doesn't work on desktop, so don't even bother. At least on Instagram, you can't get the email on desktop. You got to go to mobile. You got to open it up. You got to click the button. You got the email. Nice work. Now, you might be thinking, Avery, of course I know I can get the email from the profile, but I need to scale things up. I'm reaching out to a lot of creators over here. We need to get more emails a little bit faster than that. And to you, I say no problem. Just use Modash. We're really good at this. Here's how easy it is. All you gotta do is import or create a list of creators. It can be one or two profiles or hundreds or even thousands. Once you have your list ready, you can either click one by one uh, or you can export them all really quickly. And yeah, it's that simple. Go into Modash, find the creators you wanna grab the emails for, save them to a list, export them, copy paste them. Way to go, you just got a bunch of emails, lickety split. Now there is other tools you can use. So for example, we can take a look at Phantom Buster here. Phantom Buster offers these out of the box APIs for different platforms for collecting data. So Instagram is one of them. You can see they have this Instagram profile scraper as they call it. Phantom Buster has all kinds of good tutorials and things like that. So I won't go too deep into how to use their product, but it can be a good choice for someone who very has very specific needs in data collection and isn't more, isn't required to have a more holistic influencer marketing workflow tool. Now, one thing that some users of Phantom Buster overlook or that they never consider is that you're actually using your own account at scale, which is a little bit sketchy uh, on platforms like TikTok or Instagram. Your account could be throttled. You could face some, some problems there. So just make sure that you don't abuse the platforms. Go slow, collect emails, use, use those tools to collect emails as you would as a human. Uh, don't go in there and try to spam Instagram a billion times with your, with your robot account. Uh, via Phantom Buster, you will get banned and you don't want that to happen. Now, going back to the hands-on work a little bit and away from automation, there's a really simple, straightforward human way to get the contact details and that's just to ask the creator straight up, how do I get a hold of you? Now, of course, they're not listing their email publicly. It's probably to avoid random messages from folks that don't have super interesting offers. So uh, make sure you have a good pitch when you go in with this method. Make sure you have a compelling argument for why your message should be in front of this creator at all. But yeah, it's easy human to human communication at this point. Go to the platform, send them a DM. Uh, if you don't reach them, consider dropping a comment or two, respond to a story if it's on a platform like Instagram. And if you have to, you can use you know, Google around, where do they have a presence? Where are they actively engaging with their community? Be there, ask politely and kindly and honestly uh, about getting their contact details for the sake of a collaboration. Lots of times creators are super open to these kind of ideas, especially if they're from compelling, interesting, exciting brands like yours who are gonna treat them right. So just go ask. Another little known technique, lots of creators have newsletters nowadays. And some of them, you can just reply directly to that. So sign up for their mailing list. Once they blast something out, there you go. You've got their email, you know how to contact them, and you've got an open line of comms. Whichever way you choose to find creators, make sure you're concise, you bring value, and you might have to send a follow-up or two, but be polite. You can do this. I believe in you. 
For more ideas on how to start and scale with influencer outreach from an expert who's sent literally millions of emails every month to creators for years already, check out our podcast with Nicola from Influencers Club. The man is a true expert in this field. It's a really interesting show. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Go find out why we call him the captain of charisma. Tune in. See you later.